Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment, and today we're out here at the uh, the trial field before the Farm Science Review, getting this uh, Salford Halo VRT tuned in and uh, seeing how we're going to run it and how it how the conditions are treating us. Um, but I'm using the joystick on this particular one, and the joystick makes all the functions very handy. There's so many adjustments on this system that we've got an electric over hydraulic. Uh, joystick that makes everything extremely simple. We only have three SCVs plugged in back there to control this and so I'm going to uh, go down through the field and what I want you guys to see is zoom in on that gauge if you can Dave. There's a gauge back there. Can you see that thing moving? Yep, there it is. Yep, so as we go through the field I'm going to start off in two degrees of angle as straight as this blade as this tool can go and as we move through the field we're going to increase the angle and we're going to then get out of the tractor and walk it and do some observations but I want you guys to see what the V stands for in VRT and how variable this thing can be how much it can adapt to your fields and how many tools this thing could potentially replace so I'm going to adjust my gang angle with these two buttons as we go through the field. So we'll fire it up and watch what we get. Cut it. You can. All right, so I'm at the two degree angle back there. Now I zipped her up to five. Now to eight. Now 11. See her good and black. do some observations on from two degrees all the way up to 14 but you can see uh, how quick and easy we can make adjustments to this unit I can take my wings in and out of down pressure with this right here um, I can fold this thing up with this uh, joystick right here I can tilt it forward and back you can see that on the tool I can tilt it forward and back all with the, this handheld joystick so it's a pretty nice feature uh, that makes it really simple to operate a tool that can be a little bit complicated as far as the amount of uh, adjustments they have it's easy to use um, but when it is uh, so well engineered and so well thought out there's a lot of things to control and they narrowed it all down to this one uh, joystick so we're going to get out and walk through the field okay so here we are right behind the tool where we were at our most aggressive point and you can see nice fluffy a lot of a lot of dirt movement a lot of incorporation you know a lot of people think that maybe because this tool can go down to two degrees that it can't be a heavy uh tillage tool as well and get aggressive but it certainly can you know you you look across here there's some serious dirt that we're moving here in this soybean stubble field and that that's what this thing can do we we're going about nine to ten miles an hour and going three inches deep we've got 50 pounds or uh, sorry 500 pounds of pressure on that double rolling basket and it turned this uh, soybean field into just powder so not only can it be more like our 1200s and 22s but it, if you grab that joystick and crank it up to 14 it can really bury some residue, some corn stalks, or manure if you want to. What degree angle is that right there, Adam, this that you're 14, digging? 14, 14 degrees. degrees right here. See right? how loose that is. Yep, the most aggressive setting. So, you know, we can, we, we've got a tillage tool. Uh, when we say variable, it can do it all. It can do what the 5200 can do. It can do what the 1200 can do, but it's all built into one hitch pin. So let's go down to the 11 degree. So this is where we were at, at the 11 degree mark. And uh, you can see visually, uh, just from right here, there's more residue. Uh, and of course, that's because the blades weren't at as much of an angle. But still, you dig across here, and you've got a lot of incorporation, a lot of dirt movement. And again, we're going about three inches deep. Um, you know, same pressure on the basket. All I did was change the degree of angle on the fly. But again, 
a lot of similarities to what we saw up here at the 14, but just a little bit more residue is being shown. We've got down pressure on those wings, we've got down pressure on the basket, and we were just moving, changing degrees as we go up. So let's go back to the eight and it'll continue to show more residue. Okay, so here we're at the five degree angle mark and you can see there's a good bit of residue being shown here. The blades are running almost perfectly straight. So we're getting close to that true vertical tillage uh, like we're used to with the 1200s and stuff. But still a nice, nice seed bed. That, that's where I would run if we were in the spring, uh, wanting to go right ahead of a planter, break the crust, fracture vertically and create a really nice seed bed. Uh, I think that three to five degree angle is perfect for that. And that's what you're seeing right here. So uh, pretty mellow and, and really nice on top, thanks to those rolling baskets. Uh, chewed up a lot of the, the soybean residue. Um, but again, there's just more residue on top. You can maybe chew up some corn stalks that way this fall, seed some cover crops even. Uh, but that's what it looks like at five degrees. Okay, so here we are at the least bit of angle and that is two degrees. So, you know, th this is a place that I like to run in the spring, like I said, making seed beds. Maybe you want to uh, just lightly work this. Maybe you're gonna plant some wheat right after this. That would be a great way to make a good seed bed, but not pull all of your moisture up out of the ground. I would put it to number two run that thing as fast as you can and cover some serious acres, probably definitely be able to go nine to 12 miles an hour when it's set at that low of a degree. But if we get down in here and look, you know, we've got a beautiful seed bed. That top three inches is just perfectly cut and sized. And again, the baskets really come into play here. But for me, anywhere from two to five, you know, that that's a spring pass or like I said, a head of wheat, or maybe you just want to lightly tickle some corn stalks if you're in some highly erodible ground. But then from five uh, up to 14, you know, that's something that you really want to bury something. You're wanting to bury stalks in the fall, residue, um, anything in between, maybe after wheat, if you want to really incorporate some manure that you hold. But again, what I'm getting at is from start to finish, that tool can do it all with a few clicks of a button to change those angles and get you the look in the finish that your field needs based on what you're doing. So that's what we're doing today, getting this tool set up. We've got a huge week of Farm Science Review. Customers are fired up to come watch this Salford Halo VRT and the tillage demos, and we can't wait to show it to you guys. It's a tool that's had a lot of hype, and we're gonna bring you uh, an awesome tool in that combination right there. So that's what we're doing today. We'll see you this week.